Welcome back to another episode of the 1.14 Survival Tour. It is week 9, and I apologise for not having one last week. I hadn't made any progress due to Fortnite Chapter 2 releasing, and I was busy playing that. Anyway, I got back on the grind, and I've made some progress this week. Um, today I'm just going to show you. We have a sugarcane farm. Much needed sugarcane farm for our rockets and our paper to make books and all that. Yeah, here we go. This design may look a little bit familiar if you watch my 1.13 Survival Tour. Um, I had a very similar design in that world, um, where there's a flying machine, I'll demonstrate it in one sec, that sweeps all the sugar cane, and then minecarts pick it up. It's the only exception, uh, the only different, the only change I made was that the flying machine goes vertically across the leaf, strip, uh, leaf strips and the sugar cane strips, so that less minecarts are required, only a few. And it's also fully expandable, like, if I wanted to extend this another 30 blocks, I think this is 32 blocks right now. If I want to extend it another 32 blocks, I could I could do that. Just remove this section here, and then just keep going. Anyway, I'm going to give this a test while I explain the rest of it. I will jump into Spectator, I know a lot of you don't like it, but... It's easier for me to show you. See the flying machine, harvesting all the sugarcane. We have minecarts that just got launched and now come back and they're dispensing out all the sugarcane. That's an issue that I didn't know. Very interesting. Anyway, alright, so I'll, I was going to say this design is lossless, but obviously that's proven to be false. When this flying machine returns, uh, it'll launch these minecarts again, so we'll get a full collection. I'm gonna follow follow them down. We've also got this little like collection system at the bottom to collect all the loose sugar cane that doesn't make its way into the minecarts, and it all ends up here. What I've done is since I'm putting it straight into the barn, and the barn can only uh, sort like one item like per hopper, like it's only got one hopper, so it has to go at a set speed, not too quickly, or else there'll just be heaps of sugarcane floating around the system. I had to put this little buffer, so the sugarcane gets collected in these hoppers, and goes straight into these chests, uh, into this chest, and then, you know, it goes into this, uh, this dropper, which drops out of one item every, like, hopper speed. I don't know exactly what it's called, but every time a hopper uh, processes an item, it gets dispensed. And goes into my wonderful sword over here. Just a bit of a connection here. And we can see that we have some sugarcane coming in. Anyway, um, I think that's all we did this week. I'll do another fly around so you can get a better look at it. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Um, the simple design of white concrete and white stained glass was nice. Um, I find this really easy to build with. So yeah, I think that about that just about does it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll get to see you next week or in some other videos. See you later.